correctly. You can do it. Carl Lewis, when he won all those gold medals at Barcelona and the Olympic Games, trained with my juicer and they wrote it, wrote about it all in Runner's World. How it, how it helped him, gave him the advantage over everybody else for stamina, endurance, whatever. Every one of us, it's available to us. And you can do it in your own kitchen. I don't know, is, is the camera on it? Can you guys see this? Will you see it a little bit? Let me show you this. Then I'm going to explain something to you. If you're eating cooked food, I'll explain that too. If you're eating cooked food, you better sprinkle that cooked food with enzymes. Put the life force back in it. I'll explain why. But first of all, let me show you the differentiation in color when I make this watermelon juice with the red part and make the watermelon juice with the other 90%, which is the white rind and the green skin. And if you try eating that, consuming that, boy, you come up with a bellyache pretty fast. I've done that, you know? You, 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 you've, got, you've got the red watermelon at home and you're munching out and you're chomping on it and everything else and you're looking at it, no more. Oh my God, and you should start getting down to that white part and everything else, you know? And you end up with a bloat or gastritis or something like that, you know? But the food value lies in this green skin, this green, has the chlorophyll, which is a biogenic, a healer from the sun. And this is what you want in that body of yours. And you know, we're thinking of moving here. I, here I am, listen, listen. Here I am, 80 years old. And I've worked all over this country. In fact, I was all set to go to Japan, and China, and India. And, and, and Jakarta, where I've already been, when I lectured at the island of Bali, and Surabaya, and, and, and up in Borneo, Mingun Pandang, you know, and I was demonstrating and all that. And even if they don't understand English, they can see, visually see, these juices come out of that. Oh, that's for me. But it's amazing, amazing how, how few of us really realize how simple, how utterly simple it is to be healthy. We have life in the palm of our hand. Just apply it. You don't have to have a PhD in physiology or biochemistry. Or bio you don't. Now, I'm going to explain something to you. I want you all to know what ages you. There's something very important that you must think about. And this is your pancreas. Dr. Howell put it in his book about enzymes. It's great. Whenever you eat cooked food, cooked food is dead. And, and, and death in food begins at 102 degrees. 106. And it's completed and totally dead by the time scientists say 122. I like to stretch it and say 126 degrees. And we wash our face sometime in water that hot. Huh? That's dead food. The food cannot digest itself. So what happens now? Now, the body calls upon the pancreas. Pancreas, man, we this is dead food. This food's been cooked. Let me give you a little for instance. I know I'm jumping around here. I'm trying to complete it so you're not here too long. Have you ever seen that movie? What a great movie. And every now and then they show it on late night TV. Have you ever seen it in the lineup again? In, you know, in the Sunday paper, and they got the whole magazine for the following week. You watch this movie called Fantastic Voyage. Have you ever seen it? Oh, what a great movie, huh? Well, little gist of a story here, just real, real quick. Somebody's going to dominate the world, or every, all of us are going to die, so there's only one scientist. So <laughs> one scientist that can save the world. And, and the scientist, by the way, the scientist has a tumor in his brain. And wow, they don't think he's going to survive. They don't think he's going to live. They, and they got to bring him back to life. And, what can we do? So all these scientists get together in a room like this. And they have a, 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 a built-in submarine, a regular sized submarine, this great big hall. And all these guys, Stephen Boyd was one of the actors, you know. He's the guy that played in Ben-Hur. He was uh, Charlton Heston's uh, adversary when they drove the chariots. You remember that? 
Well, he played in this movie called Fantastic Voyage. So what they did, they got all these scientists together, the camera guys and the guys that knew how to drive the submarine and the guys that knew how to take pictures and the guys that knew uh, all the scientists. And they got him into one room and they shrunk him. They all got in the submarine and they shrunk the submarine. And all these guys are little teeny, teeny things, less than mini me. And what they did, they took a hypodermic needle and they shot it in this guy's arm. They shot it so he could survive. And the doctors and everything else that were now inside of his bloodstream to reach this tumor so they could operate from the inside out because they couldn't do it any other way. Do you recall what happened to that submarine as soon as it hit the bloodstream? Sure you do, those of you that saw it. It was engulfed by big jellyfish in the bloodstream. What were those? White blood cells, the first line of defense. And that's what happens when you eat cooked food. The body considers that a foreign object.